Let us now briefly look at a sutram which prescribes an affix kanach, which actually is not used in the classical language much at all, but in any case, we can make a mention of it just in case in some rare situation. You see this affix kanach. The sutram here is 32106 litah kanajva, litah kanajva. Look at, look at the number of the sutram is 32106, which means what? Virinjadhikara of Bhute, which starts from 3284 and goes up to Vartamani Lat, which is 32123. Vartamani Lat starts from there, so from 3284 up to 32122 is the Adhikara of Bhute. And of course, we have studied the Sutram 32115, Parokshe Lit, which prescribed the affix Lit, Parokshe, Anadhyatane Parokshe, in the past tense, not of today, and an action which has not been experienced, not been perceived by the speaker. Now, this Sutram we are studying right now is 32106, Litah Kaan that comes right after 32105, which is Chandasi Lit. So this is a different lit from the lit that we are used to. We are used to 32115, which is Paroksha lit. Now 32105 is Chandasi lit. It doesn't say Anadhyatane. It doesn't say Paroksha. It is Bhuta Samanye. Bhuta Samanye means it is in a general past tense, general past tense without any conditions on it. So this is the lit which is prescribed by 32105 Chandasi lit. That lit takes the Adesha Kanaj option. Which means that that lit prescribed by 32105, which is a general past tense, that may take the thing adesha by 3478, tiptas etc., or it may take the adesha of kanach. Kanach. Now, kanach, of course, gets the krit sanya by krida thing, krida thing. So, this is a participle form. Now, this uh, lit should be only used chandasi by 32105, chandasi lit. But very rarely in the classical language you might see this kanach being used in place of this lit prescribed by 32105. It's actually very, very rare. So we don't really need to spend too much time on this sutram. We can just look at the meaning which says the affix lit prescribed by 32105 chandasi lit may optionally be replaced by the affix kanach. Now kanach means what? Remove the letters by the shakpatadite kakara sanya halantyam chakara sanya tasya lopa this ana gets the sanya of atmane padam, which we know by 14100 tangana atmane padam. The apis kanaj is designated as atmane padam, which means that we can only use this kanaj adeshaha when atmane padam is to be used. So, Siddhanta Kamudi says that iha bhuta samanye channa si lit tasya vidhiyamana kasu kanacha vapi chanda saviti. Trimuni Matam, which means what? That the Sutram 32105 Chandasi Lit, which prescribes the affix Lit Bhuta Samanye, not Anadhyatane, not Parokshe, just Bhuta Samanye. Tasya Vidhiya Manau Kvasu Kanachau. In place of that, the affix Kanach by this Sutram 32106 and the affix Kvasu, Kvasu by 32107, which we study, which we will study next. 32107 prescribes the affix Kvasu in place of the same lit, which we will study next. So these two, Chandasa Viti Trimunimatam, they should also be used only Chandasi in the Vedic literature. That is Trimunimatam, that is the opinion of Panini as well as Katyaraha, Vartika Karaha, as well as the Mahabhashya Karaha, who is Patanjalihi. They are collectively known as, these three rishis are collectively known as the Munitrayam of Vyakaranam. They are Panini, the Sutra Karaha, then Katyanaha, who is the Vartika Karaha, and Patanjali, who is the Mahabhashya Karaha. So, in the opinion of all three of them, these, these substitutions of Kanach and Kvasu should only come Chandasi. But, Kavayas tu Bahulam Prayunjate, the poets, the people who compose literature in classical Sanskritam also, they use these substitutions variously. Among these two, this Kanach is extremely rare. Extremely means almost never to be seen. Kwasu is used once in a while. So, but that is the situation, is that these two substitutions are, according to Parinihi and Katyanaha and Patanjali, they are to be used only in, in the Vedic literature, but they are used occasionally in the classical literature, and out of those two, Kanach is extremely rare. Kwasu may be seen once in a while. And actually, the Ashtadhyayi, authorizes only nine forms 
nine what you call the perfect participles. These called perfect participles, Kosu and Kanach, Kanach and Kosu. So only nine of them are authorized in the classical language and eight ending in Kwasu and only one ending in Kanach. And those all described in 32108, which gives which which authorizes three verbal loops to let the Ade Shaha Kwasu come in place of let. The sutram is Sada Vasa Shruvaha. Sada Vasa Shruvaha. So these three verbal loops, sad, was, and shru, bhashaya, they take, they allow the affix kasu in place of lit. And then three more forms are given by 32109, upe which means these three forms, upe yivan, anashwan, and anuchanaha. These are also allowed in the classical language. And then finally, 6.1.12 gives three more forms. Dashwan, Sahwan, Midvam, Shcha. Now you notice there are, there are eight forms ending in Kwasu and only one ending in Kanach. The only one ending in Kanach is Anuchanaha. So according to Ashtadhyayi, only these eight, these eight plus one, nine are allowed. But the poets use these forms variously, particularly Kwasu. Okay, let's take a quick example. Let's derive the form chakran from the verbal root kr, dikrin karane. Add the affix lit to this verbal root kr by using 32105 chandasi lit and not 32115 paroksha lit but 32105 chandasi lit. Now instead of bringing the tip g etc, we will, we will use a participle form and this dhatu dikrin is ubhaipadi because of the nyakara zit we can use Katrivipraya Kriya Phale Atmanipadam and because Kanach can only be used when an Atmanipadam affix is to be used. So by Surita Gnitaha Katrivipraya Kriya Phale we bring in the Atmanipadam affix in place of lit and then Tangana Atmanipadam so it's Tangana Atmanipadam Kanach is the Atmanipadam Sanya so we use Litah Kanajva and bring in Kanach in place of lit so we get Kru plus Kanach. Remove it letters Kakarasit Sanya by Leshakvata Dite, Chakarasit Sanya by Halantyam Tasya Lopaha. Now Kanach is a Kit Pratyaha, so the Gunadeshaha, which, which may have been done by 7384, Sarvadhatuka Yoho, Sarvadhatuka Arzadhatuka Yoho is stopped by 115 Kinitichha. And now because Kanach came in place of lit by Sthanivad Bhava, Sthanivad Adeshonal Vidhav, this Kanach has the properties of lit. So therefore, we apply niti dhaturanabhyasasya, niti dhaturanabhyasasya, do the dvitvam. And one small note is here, as, as per dhirvachanayachi, we have to do the dvitvam by 618 before applying ikoyanachi. So we make it kru, kru ana, and then urat rakarasya, in the abhyasa, the rakaraha takes the akara desha, uran raparaha, so we get kar, kru, ana, then we apply kuhosh chuhu, sthanyantar tamaha, sthanyantar tamaha, and we get the chakara desha in place of the kakara in the abhyasa, we get chakru, ana, and then we apply haladi sheshaha, we get chakru, ana, now apply ikoyanachi, ikoyanachi to get chakra, ana, and finally 842 for the natvam, at kapvang nyum yavaye, we get chakra, ana, chakra, ana gets applied with the sanya by 1246, so chakra, ana is one who has done the action of doing, one who has done, one who has done. So meaning wise, it will be similar to Kritavan. So Chakranaha is similar to Kritavan. So this is this affix Kanach, which is very, very rare in the classical language. But just in case we notice it somewhere, we know the Sutram where we can derive this form ending in Kanach.